It's cool, it's groovy, it's number one, the Led Zeppelin. And most bands are here today. Um, their DNA is in everything that everybody does. And what they did to the blues and how their music has endured and meant so much to so many people. They're one of the most important rock bands in the history of, of, of rock music. Anybody who calls that heavy metal, that's sacrilege. You know, they are truly world music. Thanks for 11 years. John Bonham, the drummer for Led Zeppelin, is dead at the age of 32. And as Inspector Ed Garland of the Thames Valley Police in England tells us... We do not know the cause of death. Uh, there will be a post-mortem in due course. Although we're not treating it as suspicious. Bonham was found lying in bed by John Paul Jones after a night's sleep at Jimmy Page's home following a late-night rehearsal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting beside a guy who is possibly the best... <laughs> <laughs> the best rock and roll drummer on earth. Would you agree with that? Yeah, not really. I'm sure you would agree with that, John. Not at all. No, he, he doesn't agree with that at all. And uh, I'm going to ask him a most important question here. John, we've been watching that bit film there, and you do some really exotic... It must have taken you years to learn to play like that, did it? Not really.
part of my charisma is, uh, you know, is reliant on the other three, you know, and the same with everybody else, you know, we really get off on playing together, you know, and that's the whole secret of, I couldn't really go away and play with anybody else, because if I wanted to play, who else would I need for a drummer but Bonzo, you know, <laughs> and the same with Jimmy and Jonesy, I don't think it could, it wouldn't be right. They've sold more than 200 million albums, their sound has influenced thousands of bands. And now, despite saying they wouldn't, they're reforming for one night.